Welcome to the real world of the F-14 Tomcat and the U.S. Navy fighter squadrons that flew it. Exhilarating catapult launches, 6.5G dogfights against F-16s, reviewing the work of petty officers for a major inspection, briefing at midnight for a 2 a.m. launch, watching Iranian airspace knowing I could launch a missile at a hostile target up to 100 miles away, and later, responsibility for 300 people, bar hopping with squadron mates in Key West, watching the fireball from a thousand pound bomb we just dropped. You get the idea. This is my third book. In the other two, I was in more structured environments, naval aviation training, junior officer in my first squadron, instructor at the now famous Top Gun School. This time, I'm in an environment that I can shape to a greater extent on the ground and in the air. New freedoms, new consequences, new risks, new adventures. You've opened this book, you're reading this page, so you must have an affinity for naval aviation or for flying stories in general. So do I. The one you're holding is not just about a career, it's also a tribute to the Grumman F-14A Tomcat. When designed and introduced, the Tomcat was the Navy's replacement for the F-4 Phantom II which embodied the term a legend in its own time. No one knew Tomcats would serve for more than 30 years and become legendary on their own. We were proud to fly them and confident in their effectiveness, and it is an honor to contribute to the Tomcat's legacy. But I don't whitewash the story. I'll talk about system failures and challenges associated with keeping these jets flying. Yes, some of these stories celebrate the Tomcat's versatility and impressive capabilities and mention my own abilities, which were the product of years of training and experience, supported by my personal commitment. But some of these stories spring from questionable decisions or less than optimum situations, events that made the biggest impression on my memory. Among hundreds of incident-free flights, Moments like these are part of almost any aviation experience. Naval aviation, where an emphasis on safety has produced an incredible reduction in mishaps over the past 50 years, still presents a variety of circumstances that, for an author, is the gift that keeps on giving. As I wrote this book, I thought about the many squadron mates, officer and enlisted, with whom I shared these experiences but didn't happen to be involved in one of the stories. If you're one of these great people, I hope you'll see yourself in this book and take pride in your service to this great nation. So get into your flight gear, strap in, and one more thing, fly Navy. <laughs>